One of the biggest delusions that we suffer from as human beings is that we actually have control of our own lives. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick announcement, I get a ton, a ton of DMs, I get a ton of emails, I get a ton of comments and I love you all for it. Um, I've set up the Facebook group as well as the Discord server because I cannot answer everybody. So make sure that you check always down in the description below and join those. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one talk with me, I just added some new stuff over on Patreon. One of the tiers over there is to have a monthly call with me, just a chat. Again, I am not a licensed professional, but if you would like a chat with me, I schedule them through Patreon, all right? But anyways, if you would like for free, join the Facebook group and or the Discord server, all right? So anyways, got a flood of requests today to talk about Logan Paul and oh my lord, this dude. This dude is playing everybody like a fiddle and it's just like, man. So I'm gonna talk about it. Let's talk about it. Like this is something that we see constantly. So like I made a video months ago, months ago, because so many people asked me to talk about Onion Boy. I don't talk about Onion Boy because that's what they want, all right? So like, like I said in the intro, we, we suffer from this delusion that we're in control, right? That's this thing. We've, we, we have this, choice, this freedom of choice. We, we have free will. We, may, we choose what we're going to do. When in reality, we don't, all right? Talking about Logan Paul is giving him exactly what he wants, and, and it's working. It's working. So, for example, a few months ago, he came out and went to the Flat Earther Convention, and guess what? When he went on stage and talked about how he now believes in the flat earth, guess what happened? Everybody on the flat earth <laughs> was talking about it. That was funny, huh, Tristan? <laughs> Everybody was talking about it. Um, so I consider myself a man of truth, uh, someone who hates being ignorant. I try my best to avoid being ignorant. <laughs> Keep rolling. And um, that's why I decided to come here, because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do this and if I'm gonna put my name out there, I want to know the facts, right? The fact that you know we haven't been to the moon in what over 50 years. The fact that uh, the moon emits its own light. Some of the best scientists um, that the uh, the globe heads is that what you guys call them? The globe heads. Some of their best scientists can't they can't explain gravity. Uh, yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson, Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, Bill Nye. At the end of the day, do they even know? And uh, so I wanted to come here and and explore for myself. But yeah, man, if if like I said, if I'm gonna do this and if I'm gonna put my name out there, because I'm sure you guys know there's a stigma. There's a stigma with being a flat earther. And if, if I'm gonna do it, I wanna know. I wanna know the facts. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. Uh, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for having me. If you see me in the hallway, say hi. Come take a picture, and uh, I guess I guess I'm 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 not ashamed to say my name is Logan Paul, and I I think I'm coming out of the flat Earth closet. <laughs> All right, today um, the issue is what he said on his podcast. Before I talk about what he said on his podcast, let me make it very clear: you have every right, every single right, to be offended. You do, okay? How you feel, I am not here to judge that. We all have a right to feel the way that we're going to feel. But we need to ask ourselves, what is a productive use of this energy? What is a productive use of this? It's something that I talk about in my book, Rewire Your Anger, right? It's about using that for something good. Like, what are we going to do, all right? But anyways, on his podcast, he said in 2019 for the, the month of March, he was going to do whatever it is and he was gonna go gay for a month. Like January is yeah. sober vegan January. Yeah. And then February is- uh, Fatal February. The exact We're opposite. gonna go the opposite. So oh, like okay. day All one, right. steaks, like big bottles of Tito's and shit, like Hell just yeah. wild and, and out. Bro. And then March. Yeah. Take a guess. Uh, it's Coachella, so wait, no. No, that's, that's April. April. Yeah. That's April. You so see the lineup, by the way? Again. 
You see the lineup? So you're gonna you're gonna be vegan and sober again? No, no, no. Uh, it's what is it? Male only March. Male. Uh, why don't you say this part? So it's male only March. We're gonna tr attempt to go gay for just one month. For one oh, month, damn. and then swing, and then go back. That's crazy. But yeah, cause, <laughs> so. <laughs> people are offended. All right, I get it. I understand that. But the fact is, is that Logan Paul got exactly what he wanted. And the sad part about it is, I don't even think he thought that was going to go viral, right? But he did, and now he's sitting there in his mansion, laying on a bed of money, just like, oh my God, look, everybody's talking about me now. His subscriber numbers is going up, his videos getting more views. That's the video right there. I clicked on it, it's fully monetized. So now everybody who wants to hear exactly what he said or get the entire context of it or whatever it is, he's making money off of it all right so much like onion boy and other people trying to stay relevant they're trying to invoke an emotion from us they're trying to do this through different forms of i guess you can call it manipulation so like what i try to teach everybody and this is something that i had to learn myself like you guys i don't give you guys advice i haven't taken myself all right it is much easier to change how we respond to the world rather than focusing our energy on trying to change everybody around us. So for example, for example, I get a lot of comments. Um, I was in the Discord server today and people like, Chris, you should really change your thumbnails. You should really change your tags uh, or your uh, video titles. And I'm like, nah, I've just been saying, Nah, right? Because one of the things that keeps us in such a foul mood and makes us so upset is that we sit and we think that you should do this, you should do that, you should do this. You should say this, you shouldn't say that, you should say this, right? This is something else that I talk about and rewire your anger. Am I plugging my book? Sure. If that upsets you, maybe you should check in with yourself and see why that is, all right? But we all have this idea of what everybody else should be doing. But think about it, if you have two people, if you have just two people in a room and this person thinks everybody should do things their way, that, people, that person thinks everybody should do their, their things their way, you, already, you immediately have conflict, right? When I would do groups in front of 60 and 70 people, I would say, how many of you can relate to this, right? If everybody would just do everything that I thought they should do, everything would be wonderful. Everything would be fantastic. I'd say, raise your hand if you can relate to that. You see dozens of hands go up in the room, right? And it's like, think about it. If two people think that way, you immediately have conflict. How much time are you wasting letting people rent space in your head because you're obsessing about what they should or shouldn't be doing, right? Wouldn't it be a more valuable use of your time to figure out how you could respond in a better way? Something I've been talking about lately is learning how to respond rather than react when you get emotional. Because the worst thing that you can do, especially on Twitter and social media, is to, is to send out that tweet or that Facebook post or whatever it is when you're highly emotional because you are reacting. You're reacting and a lot of times you're feeding in, into exactly what the other person wants, but you say you don't want this person to keep being successful, keep making money, keep getting views or whatever that is, right? So what's the answer to all this? Guess what? It's mindfulness. It's mindfulness, you guys. When things happen, we pause we check in with ourselves, we get curious and we say, why am I responding to this situation like this, all right? What would be a valuable use of my energy, okay? Is this a healthy or unhealthy response? Is this useful or not useful to me, all right? Are there things that you could do by not giving somebody Logan Paul um, a response or somebody like Onion Boy a response that will still allow you to um, vent out your frustrations? right, without giving them attention, here's a couple ideas. DM a friend, text a friend, all right? Journal, meditate, okay? There's so many things that you can do because eventually, like we see with Onion Boy, his views and his subscribers are tanking. It's because more and more people are giving him less and less attention. A lot of you have requested for me to talk about him lately and I refuse to talk about that situation um, unless I feel that you know, I, I can somehow provide another voice if legal action were to be taken. But other than that, I'm just not talking about it, all right? But anyways, you guys, like, 
Um, I, I appreciate everybody who has been reading uh, Rewire Your Anger. I released it last month. I, I, I apologize, I still need to get on the audio book. But you guys, so much of the stuff in that book is what I just talked about in this video. So if you find that not just when a dumb YouTuber says something that you react in bad ways that are you know fueling the fire, like, yo, like check out the book. It's $5 and you can download the Kindle app for free on your tablet, on your on your phone, on your computer, your laptop, whatever it is, all right? I just did a giveaway for it over on Instagram, too. Make sure you're following me over on uh, Instagram, too, because I do giveaways and all that stuff. But anyways, like, yeah, just realize who in the spotlight is manipulating you and how to avoid it because this is actually happening to you maybe in your workplace, okay? Like, let's talk about that real quick. Let's say there's somebody at your job that absolutely hates you and they give you a hard time every single day, right? Then you quit, okay? Were you in control? No, they just played you like a puppet, right? You're out at the bar or, or wherever. Maybe you're on social media and somebody just keeps jabbing at you, jabbing at you, jabbing at you, and you have a public freak out. Who's in control? Not you, all right? So get this thing under control, baby. Start working on it. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you struggle with anger issues or, uh, or or controlling your anger, let me know down in the comments. I can make more videos about it. And I have some more mindfulness videos coming out as well. All right, but anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And again, if you would like to be part of the Q&A or have some one-on-one -on -one calls with me or whatever that is, you can click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.